All right, let's welcome back to Path of Exile. Oh man, we starting up that fast. Holy shit, we're in fucking Descent. Dude, do you ever play Descent? Descent's crazy. In yeah, VR I too, have. Man. I, I, I wouldn't say I'm a freak about it, but I mean, I'm, <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Is something a meme lord? What the f Holy shit, what the fuck is up with this fucking place? So let me, let me take a bunch of damage just so I can show you guys how this fucking class works, except I'm still leeching. <laughs> Can I stop leeching? There we go, okay? And then there you uh, go. I, I press it, instantly comes back. It's kind uh, of the only thing that's been saving me this entire time. Yeah. And so they're obviously really good because, as I said, in emergencies, it's what every single person in this game uses uh, for end game flasks. It's that specific kind of flask, and you know, you just roll it with an instant stuff. And you can get a bunch of stuff on it where it like removes tailed, removes burning, removes shocked, and things like that. Which are pretty good status elements to remove, because in, in an emergency situation you might be that as well. Or bleed, bleed, bleed's a big one too. So yeah, there's a lot of different ways you can get bleed inflicted on you, especially these days. Yeah, you can't. Dude, somebody cut the bridge. Somebody cut the bridge. Where? Huh? That motherfucker. Was it you? Oh Pat? my god, no! I would never cut the bridge. I'm too scared of them. All these brittle shards here, which are. Giant ice golems, which I don't do a lot of damage to because I'm a cold damage person. Oh, actually, he had a proximity shield that I didn't see. That would be why. I mean, he was a big guy. It was hard to see it. For me? For you. For you. Uh, hey. Oh, this is a uh, supply hoist. The fuck? I'm proud of you, Mike. What? Proud of me for what? You found the supply hoist. Is this uh, kind of the same area? Yeah, it does count as the same yep. area. Well, there was no loading screen. So, so wait, did that count as a what is that? Does that count as like a? Uh, oh, it's we, the it's same an thing elevator. We were going up and down the stairs. Yes, yeah, it's, it's an a, elevator. It's a hoist, Mike. I thought you knew what a hoist. No, was. I, I know. I thought the area was called supply hoist or something. Like a dumb waiter. I don't know, fucking dude. I'm I'm just trying to I'm get I'm getting into the game's lore of supply hoist. Is it a is it a con closure or whatever we were? A con closure. I never fucking said con closure. That's what you're saying. I forgot what it was called already. Concourse. Concourse. <laughs> Conclosure. I thought you were making fun of like automations and shit with me. No, I just forgot it already. You're just an idiot. Wow. Okay, no. You went. You went too far too fast. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. It's high roll, Pap. It's high roll. When you if you do frost blades this fast, would you go slow? Oh, look, Not the bridge's back. Fast. The bridge is back, Pat. Oh, but it's a different bridge. It's different not. Bridge. It's not a suspension bridge, so I don't like it. A suspension bridge. A suspension bridge. Dude, something's shocking you. Oh shit! Holy Jesus Christ! That's okay. why we have an instant flask, which I didn't really use at the exact moment that I should have. I kind of just panicked. Ball lightning warp. Ball lightning warp sucks. Dude, you you saw that goat with the giant mace, right? I did see him, yes. That was so cool looking. I want one of those as a specter. Not if I kill them all first. Which is exactly how you make them into specters. I mean, that's also how you commit genocide, but uh, you know, you didn't hear that from me. Another supply hoist, the fuck? <gasps> we're, we're going down the side of the mountain. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that actually makes sense for going down, because it's the way that that down works. Pat, what's the cartographer's chisel do? I, I think a I cartographer's one, chisel inc uh, increases the quality of a map. Yep. I don't know how, but it does. But we'll get more into that in, in the end game. We're a little ways off. A little ways. Can't wait till we get to like final boss territory where we rip like three thousand like, times. Two levels away. From reaching my final form. Two levels away. What happens in two levels? I get to use the final piece of my equipment. And what would that be? It would be the Alpha's Howl. It's what? a uh, unique helmet that continuously lowers the cost of my auras. The Vesturi Desert. I don't know. Dude, it's Ark. <laughs> There's dinosaurs. Oh yeah, they're fucking like fucking raptors and shit. What are they called? They're called uh, adolescent Rex. Rex. With the, with the, with the, with 
with an with H. With, a, with an H. Yeah. What are the snakes dinosaurs. called? Oh shit, there's like super dinosaurs here with like... Okay, but I keep killing them. Rex back oh, rider. Oh, the Rex back rider! <laughs> and they have, yeah, they have like little guys on them. Fucking sweet. Fucking sweet. I can't do this just yet. Dude, they're called- they're literally called Rex Backriders. No, I know they are. You know how gay that name sounds, actually? Well, I'm- I'm pretty sure that's not why we're killing them. Oh, uh, okay. Well, you know, obviously not. The, no homophobia intended, but... No homophobia. <laughs> well, they're my homies! Cause, you know, I wanna ride a <laughs> Rex! Homophobia. okay. Look! I've got communication problems. You need to leave oh, me alone. Holy yeah. Fucking hell. You know when you're afraid of your homies. I, I can see that. So stupid as fuck though. <laughs> Alright, we got a desert map in the desert area. That's good. So we're, we're, getting, <laughs> we're getting a bunch of maps. Well, as I said, we'll get into that soon enough. Oh, uh, you don't want to go do Erion's mission over here. Of course. Of course I want to do his mission. Oh, we need to kill things in the relic. Or in the fucking place here. Whatever, I'll just let Pat do it all. Because <laughs> my thing is splash damage, so I'll just kill everything outside of it. I mean, I also have minions that just go every the fucking where, but yeah. There we go. He's well, that's actually really fast. He's fucking done. Oh, there's desiccated Maraketh here. The Oasis. Alright, well... Oh, there's actually another passageway down here, actually. Yeah, we did find a waypoint in the last area, so we got that. Dude, it's scorpions! I love scorpions. I'm getting really excited about the wrong things, I think. You were probably right. Alright, let's, um... Oh my god, we're almost to that jewel socket. You might want to be careful, mate. Nah, I'm fine. You're almost to the jewel socket. Almost to the jewel socket. That was our end goal. And then from then on, it's just damage and shit. Eh, I think everything's always damage. I like the damage I do, it's good. So why is it called Oasis? Two chaos orbs, fuck yeah. Well, I was actually fairly lucky. You're setting stuff on fire like half a mile away, you know that, right? I mean, I, I'm using that that Avatar of Ash thing, but I don't even know if I want it. You mean you mean Herald of Ash? Yeah, exactly, Avatar of Ash. No, it's Herald of Ash, yeah. And no, I know, I, I know, but Pat, this is a melee ability, okay? <laughs> oh, sorry, I forgot, my bad. Oh, here you go. There's a Divine Life Flask that's already kind of uh, qualityed up for you. And there's a one yeah. there, too. So, some people do, like, multiple um, life, uh, like, Insta Flask, because usually there's maybe a point in the game where, like, your life pool gets so large that, like, you may need a few, and you need to maybe just mash them all at once I can't do this when you're in danger. Man, I don't think, I don't think I'm going to get to that point. I mean, that I, is a big skeleton thing. For you. Why is he like? What's he immune to? Okay, whatever. I don't know what he's immune to. We also have now a chaos flask. Um, not as useful as you would think, at least on chaos this part. Uh, amethyst. It's oh. um, it's uh, <laughs> makes you. It, it gives you some chaos resistance. And if you haven't noticed, actually, um, we actually do have chaos resistance. Mine is negative ten percent right now. I think it's just because I'm near Pat. But yep. Um, it's actually it's it's. The game kind of balances it around this. So all the regular resistances are balanced around being levels of 75%. So if you get like an extra 1%, that means that you're actually taking significantly less damage than the developers mm. kind of intended for you to take. Um, cast resistance, however, is in this game balanced at 0%. But it still does reduce it due to whenever, whenever all the resistances lower due to like difficulties or whatever the fuck that the reason is for now. Um, it's one of those things that you kind of do and do not have to worry about as much because there's not as much chaos damage in the game, and that's chaos is basically just poison and and uh, more poison. Certain spells do it as well. 
You don't see it that often, but you sometimes do, and if you do when see you it... When you see it, though, it hurts like a mug. Yeah, if you're not prepared for it, yeah. So what is the point of this area? Uh, that's a really good question. I think we have to find the storm blade. Well, we found a fucking corrupted area instead. Unique boss deals 10% increased damage. Whatever. Whatever. Fuck, do you not like picking things up? No. My cloud has to go fast. I somehow doubt that. The fuck? Do you have like birds or something? Yeah, I have some enraging ravens. Why? And how? It's a uh, new microtransaction they they released because I'm a I'm a pr I'm pretty much a sellout. Is that is that the fucking skull heads for you? Yeah, that's the skull uh, heads for me. That's fucking weird. It's just like Diablo. Uh, yeah, just like Diablo. Caw caw, motherfucker. I don't know. Uh, there's Rack the Impaler. And Rack almost kicked him <laughs> He my just ass. impaled your face! <laughs> Alright, Pack can do this one. God yeah. damn, I hate these things. Alright, so what are we even supposed to do in here? I'm assuming since we have the reoccurring nightmare, which is the Basilisk Acid and Trathum Powder, we also have Find Oyen and Saber from Kira. Yeah. It's gotta be one of those three things. Because I've been looking around the corners and... But I... no, because no, when I select all three of those, it's telling us to go elsewhere. Uh, I, I assume there's something in here. Maybe it's in the middle I mean... or something? This place is huge. We've gone about we've gone around the majority of the edge. Nothing actually really seems like out of place though, or like unless there's a like quest that. we've got to get from town. I can't do. I this mean, usually thing. things are locked by quests or whatever. The well, yeah, but I mean, like a quest that would have told us there's something here. I guess we should have skipped it, but I don't know. I don't know. Chaos orb. I mean, this is like this has a lot of chaos orbs in this area, so you know. Yeah, apparently. Maybe it's just a just a straight up side area for the sake of being a side area. I, they they rarely have those anymore. I know that, but just something seems really fucky. I'm gonna just I don't check know, man. again. So it wasn't up there. I mean, outside of a few little bits and bobbles here and there, we've explored the majority of the map. Yeah, uh, you would be correct on that. I don't even think we fought a unique boss here, have we? No, there's been nothing here. I want one of the unique fucking dinosaur riders. Yeah, I don't think there's actually anything here. Wow, that's a disappointment. So, do, what, what, what do you want to do? I'll just go back. What else can we do? Oh. This place is for nothing. And I mean, we wouldn't really know that if it wasn't for the fact that, you know... That we actually explored <laughs> almost everything. Yeah. As I said, I don't know. That's really weird. There wasn't. I. I didn't even see an entrance to like a, a side area that might have like a god or anything like. That yeah, neither did I. Fucking go full on Kratos on. It might be just a leveling place for you know those fucking hardcore players. Uh, that's po that's a possibility. Because hardcore players love little leveling side areas for, uh, you know, over leveling. When, when yeah, over leveling because the content gets tough sometimes. So they're like, I need to level That's up fair. as much as possible for the modern day dread ticket. Yeah. I have no doubt they would add that. Mm, come down the, come down this way. There's a bunch of blue packs this way. I kind of want to. I, I kind of want to try to explore everything because, like, there is stuff that we have to do here and we have not seen it yet. And jo and I remember how the Onk of Eternity was, where we had to cover every square goddamn inch of the place. We didn't explore all of the puzzle place. No, fuck this. I'm going. I'm, I'm fucking continuing. Fuck you, asshole. All right, goddamn. Stop trying to fucking level up using me. We're going to the foothills. Fuck you. But we don't. We didn't do the thing that we need to do here. What is the thing we need to do there? We've got to get the storm blade. It does. Does it actually say it's there? Yeah, the storm blade in the in the oh. Bastari Desert and deliver it to Pataris and Vanya and oh. the Highgate. Okay, well let me leave a portal here then. All right. 
Okay, I didn't I didn't know that's that was the thing. Nice. So I say they're just large chunks that we haven't explored and I don't wanna have a there we go. The onk of eternity to happen again where we're searching for like a half an hour. I've already been searching for a while right now. Alright, Storm Mother Chest. Defeat the mummies. Oh Jesus, I've seen this in a movie. Yeah, it was a pretty bad movie. Exactly. I'm just, I'm just gonna hold down right click. I can't do this just yet. Well, that's just lazy. That's a lot of mummies. That's a lot of sand. Pat, you want your mummy? Oh, I want my storm blade. All right. Well, I'll make a portal. Good, because I gotta sell shit anyway. So you, you gotta chrome my helmet. Yeah, whatever I do. You did it! They found it, Bataris! They found it! By the gods! Garukan's famed Stormblade. Do you know what this means, my sweet? Once we find the right collector... Well, we can go anywhere, have anything. We will be like royalty. But the storm inside is a problem. It's too volatile in its current state. You're right. We can't trade away a weapon of such apocalyptic nature. This will require some pondering, my love. In the meantime, thank you, Exile. Take your pick of our stock. Oh, take your pick of our stock, passive point. Have you ever heard much of the Marrakech legends? A truly unique cosmology of strange creatures, pagan gods, and powerful treasures. One such story talks of a magical stone dial. A Marrakech calendar, said to detail important events in the future of our world. General Adis, a war hero of the Empire, reported in his diaries of discovering a dial meeting that description at a dig site somewhere in the foothills. It appears the war hero had a secret penchant for archaeologies. But the cataclysm wiped the land clean and buried the dig site in rocks and sand. No one has been able to locate it since, nor the stone dial. Seems that with everything that's been going on of late, knowing what's due to happen in the future could be a fairly profitable ability. We know you would never have a use for such a gift. It would remove all the enjoyment out of adventure for someone like you. Yet, in times such as these, our small folk could do well with a heads up if something particularly nasty were to occur. Besides, a relic like that should sit in a museum. Or our collection. Not be lost beneath the rubble where it benefits no one. If you were to track the calendar down for us, we would pay you handsomely, Exile. Yes, we are traders of antiquities, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Alright, so they want, a, they want the fucking Marketh calendar. It's uh, a little weird. Yeah, well, we got another pass the point, and damn, son, we get the jewel socket. <gasps> that means we get the last point, the last thing of frost blades in here. There we go. More cold damage penetration. If you don't mind. And nobody else wants to talk to me, so I'm just gonna go return all my stuff in. We're getting a lot of six sockets too. Which are nice Here to we sell. are. I like it. They're amazing to sell. Alright, Pat, what what piece of gear do you want me to roll colors on you? I would like that helmet to be rolled blue, blue, green, red. Not necessarily in that order, but, you know, two blue, one red, one green. Uh, did you use a chrome calculator? Uh, yes, I did. Basically, okay. for each you one blue. Maybe is, I should show uh, people what the chrome calculator does. Or explain how chromatics work. So basically, uh, each piece of gear has sockets on it, as we've kind of learned over time. But the colors of the socket is actually dependent on the gear. For example, this helmet requires 138 decks and no other stats. So it's going to basically lean very hard towards dex gems or green gems which means it's going to be very hard to roll red or blue sockets on it where if it was maybe a chest that had a lot of strength and int requirement would roll red and blue more often so a chromatic calculator lets you put in the um like the requirements of the helmet like the for example the dex and it'll tell you with Verici, who is one of the masters who can do color uh, coloring, uh, what is the best way to get the colors you want on the helmet or armor or whatever else. So should I Verici it with one blue on it or something? E that's what it's saying. How many chromatics do you have? 75. Yeah, and that's a four, four thing. Oh, whatever. We'll try it. All right, so no. let's... 
do this then. All right, so we say, hey, I want at least one blue socket. I mean, we could say at least two blue sockets. That makes it 25 chromes. But they say yeah. generally the odds are that it's going to roll the proper ones anyways, eventually. Yeah, you get this a lot. All right. So you said two blue, one green, one red, right? Yes. Okay. Well, I got just two blue. I may not be able to do this for you. <laughs> one blue, two red, one green. I mean, I think I'm running out of chromes now, so. Well, if you run out of chromes, I'll go get you some more. I have 77 right now. All right, let's just keep trying it. One blue, uh, one blue socket. The suspense is literally killing me. I mean, it's just one of those things. You keep trying to roll it, and the odds are not necessarily that high, but, you know. Uh, the odds are actually, I think, 5%. Two blue, two green, still not good, right? No, it's got to be. It's got to have a red on it. <laughs> I got three blue. God damn it! Oh. I'm starting to run out. Nope, don't have enough currency anymore. All right. Well, I will attempt to go get more. Uh, this is the end of an episode, maybe. Uh, I mean, I want to go back. Uh, let's go find the next waypoint first. I put in the guild stash. All right. Maybe waste all my fucking chromes on this shit. I'm go. sorry. I really need it. Go back in the desert on my portal. You can go buy it during fucking the break. All my fucking chromes. You really need it, apparently. I really need it. Uh, I guess since you were nice enough to do that for me, here you go. Divine Life Flask of Adrenaline. I don't want that. You don't want it? No. That's not even a full instant flask. It's 50 per It's 50 though. It's the. What do you mean a full instant flask? It's not 66. I want your dumb shit. God, you're so fucking picky, Jesus. Yeah, I, mine's better. But why are you trying to be like, oh, I'm being nice to you? I, I have the good flask. I have the one fucking like. The fucking zombies and shit get your fucking health back. Oh, I'm being nice to you, Mike. Oh, yeah, I, I'm, I, I let I'm you, trying to be nice. I'm I, giving to you I, freely. I, I let you put 200 chromes into my fucking hot, so... 200? You put, like, 80. Uh, no, a lot more than that. Really? Uh, I used all of them, yes. How many did you have? Uh, I, I, I don't know, but, like, when I looked, I had 80, and I had already done it, like, a couple times already. Alright, guys, here's your waypoint. Motherfucker. Alright. Now... Uh, yeah, we're gonna, I guess, call it here. So, uh, yeah, peace, guys, and uh, everyone blame Pat for everything. Bye. Bye.